In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new part in ORCAD in its library. We'll create a new uh, library file and create a new part into it, although you can use an existing library as well and then create a new part into it. So usually what you do is you create separate libraries for each of your different sections, for example, connector, ICs and discrete components, so on and so forth. So I created a new part. It has its path somewhere here, but you can save it at any place. For example, uh, you can do that something like file, save as, and go to some other path or somewhere wherever you want to save it at a known location. And once you have done that, you right click on it and create a new part. And for our purpose, let's say we are going to make a six pin connector. I call it key on, on six. Uh, there are some ways that we are using only one part pa per package. Most of the libraries that you will create come, come into this category. But if you have a heterogeneous part, for example, an op amp with multiple parts into it, each having a different or section, or maybe a very big IC that is separate part, then you can use a part per package and create a heterogeneous part. So click OK. It comes up with a square like this. Now you want to extend it, something like this. I drag the left mouse button and then drag it to whatever way shape we want. The next thing we need to do is place pins. I click pin and then I give it a number, let's say pin one, and then I need to give a unique number that is starting from one. I did then, and then I, I can move and click it then, uh, I do repeat the same process again, again pin, let's say pin 2, number 2, right here. And then the next thing I can do, go on clicking this, then it will create uh, more pins. It increments the numbers and the name automatically. Once I have done that, I can also double click any pin and I can edit it. For example, here I can give VCC and this one I can do, uh, say, ground. Once I have done that, I can click on this rectangle, dotted rectangle, and reshape it the way we want it, drag it, and something like that. We can we may also like to place a rectangle around it, something like this here. Look, that's all we need to do. Uh, we finally can save this using the save button, and this part, if you see, look at this. Library 1.olb is the library file. I have one part. If I can add another part into it, I can add this part by using clicking on this and then new part and create a new part, so on and so forth. So that's how you create a, your part. Uh, you will need to make this library available to the design file if you want to use any part into this. Hope that helps you.